All right, so in this lecture, we're gonna start off creating a very simple card view for our app. Now for this lecture, please make sure to download the two lecture resources, the two images here, Walk JPEG and Water JPEG, which we're gonna use in our app. Now, once you've downloaded them, let's go ahead and create our layout. So you can easily open up the activity main.xml and inside here, you can see the layout that's currently used for the hello world. So we have a constraint layout at the top level and inside that constraint layout, which is like a container, we have a text view that simply shows the text hello world. Now, what we wanna do for now is we wanna create a scroll view so that later on when we have many cards on our main activity, the user can simply scroll through the cards and each of those cards is gonna represent one of the habits that the user decided to follow. So once there are too many to show on one screen, we wanna be able to scroll them. So for now, we're just gonna go ahead and use a scroll view. And then inside that, we wanna use a card view. Now to use that, we're actually gonna to have to add a new dependency. So we're gonna open up our apps build.gradle file. So use the one for app here. And then at the bottom here in dependencies, you can go ahead and add a new compile time dependency. And that's gonna be com.android.support. So that's like the package name that it uses. Then you put a colon there. And the one we wanna use is called card view v7. And then another colon, which separates this from the version number. And at this point, we can use version 26.0.1. So with this now, we can save this and then let Gradle sync our project. And this should all work fine with this dependency here. And now once we have this, we can go ahead in our layout and get rid of the text view. And instead, we can go ahead and use the card view now. And it's gonna come up with a suggestion normally, right? So there's the card view. We want this to match the parent width and the height should just be wrap content. So it only is as high as necessary to, in order to contain all its contents. And on the left hand side of each card, I want to have an image view and this should actually be 22 dp wide and also 22 dp high for now. And I'm just going to go through the concept of each of the elements here. So I want to have a text view, which is going to be wrap content for width and also wrap content for the height. So this is gonna be the title of each habit. And then lastly, there's gonna be another text view, again, just wrapping its content, which is gonna show a description for each habit. Now I wanna mention that you can also go to the design tab down here in order to see everything in this editor. So you can see our card view here on top and you can also see the hierarchy with the scroll view that contains a card view which contains our three elements and you can just drag and drop elements into this here. But I usually prefer to use XML to really show you now also what's going on under the hood. And also when using the design here, you're also gonna end up with quite unreadable XML code. So I'm gonna go ahead here for this lecture and just use the XML or write everything in XML. And actually now inside the card view here, I wanna have just one child element, which is gonna be a relative layout. It's gonna match its parent's width and it's just gonna be as high as necessary. And this should now contain all our other three elements here so that we can better define how they're gonna be laid out in or in relation to each other. I'm gonna indent all this. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna add some padding to our relative layout in order just to add some white space to the layout. And next thing you normally always wanna do is you wanna add an ID to all the important elements. So just type ID, select Android ID, and it's also gonna come up with a syntax here to create a new ID for this element. And I'm gonna call this IV for image view. And I'm just gonna call this icon for now. So it's gonna be the icon for the habit. And now I'm gonna, inside this relative layout, we can use things like align parent left, so it's gonna be aligned to the left of its parent and it's also gonna be aligned to its parent top, meaning it's gonna be aligned to the top left corner. And then I'm also gonna add some margin to the right, which is gonna just add some white space to separate this image view from the text views. So we're gonna have this image view here on the left-hand side 
and then the two text views on the right hand side of the card where the title is above the description. So I'm going to repeat this here again. We're going to have an ID first and I'm going to call this TV for text view and then just call this title. Now again, we're going to make use of the relative layout and we can say things like we want this to be to the right of the element with the ID IV icon. So it's going to be to the right of the image. And we also want this to be aligned again to the top of the whole relative layout. And for now, just to test this, let's also add a fixed text to this. So this is going to be, so let's say the habit should be drink water. So that's now just going to be our sample text just to see what the layout looks like later on. And I'm going to also increase the text size here to be 30 SP. Make sure for text sizes to always use the SP unit instead of the DP unit. So the Android can automatically scale the text size for different sizes of Android devices. So on tablet and phone, the text size should be different because the screen size is also very different. And this is all done automatically when you use the SP unit. Now, lastly, we're going to go to our last text view here. Again, first add an ID. This one I'm going to call TV description. This one should also be aligned to the right of our image view. And it should be below our TV title. All right, so this should now be everything we need for this layout. So now we have this file here, activity main.xml, which we can also take a look at again in the design view, which where you can now see we have drink water here as the title. And I actually forgot to use a just a sample text for our description. So let's say the text here should be, let's say refreshing glass of water gets you hydrated. So just some motivation for this habit. And then in the design view, again, we can take a look at our card layout, where you can see we have this image here, we have our title, and we have some description that really lets or makes the user more motivated to follow this habit. Now, one thing I want to do here is I want to also add a sample image to this. So I'm going to say source here is going to be a drawable. And I'm going to use the water drawable that you downloaded from the lecture resources. So this is just going to read this file here, water.jpg, and show that in the image view. So now when you look into the design view, you can see we have an image shown up here from which you might actually want to increase the size a little. So let's say one and a half 64 dp for the image. You can see we have a glass of water there and you can also still run this app and now it's going to actually come up with this design because in our main activity here the default code is already going to include this layout as you know because the hello world layout also came from the same file. So just by creating the project, you already have this code here, which is actually going to show this layout activity main.xml in our main activity. So just running this now would already include the correct layout. And you can see here in our emulated device, you can see our first card from our card layout here, the title, the description, the image, everything looks fine. So this is the basic kind of layout we want to use. We want to have multiple cards here. Later on, we also want to let the user be able to add new habits on their own. And they should be able to also say how many, every how many days they want to do that habit. So is it a habit they want to do every day, every two days and so on. And we can of course just build on that and try to improve on that again and again later on. But for now, this is just the basic layout we want to work with. So that's, that's fine. Now we have our card layout, the basic layout we want to use. We're going to reuse that later on in a different way. For now, we just have our activity main that just going to show one card. Later on, of course, we want to use one card for each habit that we have in our database. But at that point, we can simply reuse our XML code here in order to show that card and use that layout for each of those habits. Alright, so that's the basic layout and I'm going to see you again in the next lecture.